All right, now that I've got my pencil drawing done in just one of the triangles, I'm going to start transferring. To do this, I'm going to use my Sharpie. Now, if you're thinking, well, I have a black marker, that will work just fine. It could, but I prefer the Sharpie, and we're not actually using the Sharpie marker part. We're using the back end of it. Okay, so on the other side, you've got this rounded rounded edge here. Not the absolute base of the Sharpie, but the rounded part. And what the rounded part's going to do is help us press this pencil and transfer it to another section. To do that, I'm going to take my triangle and my paper and fold that over so that the triangle part will face a blank side. Now I know you can't see it very well, but you should be able to see some of that pencil through the paper. And remember, it's got to be connected to a blank side, otherwise it doesn't work. You're going to take your Sharpie, and you're going to press down to transfer the pencil lead from one triangle to another. And as I do this, I'm pressing pretty hard. Not hard enough that I will rip the paper, but hard enough that it will transfer. And in those few seconds that I just pressed down, I want to show you what happened. From one area that I pressed down on, it transferred to this blank blank space. So what, what that essentially does is I don't have to worry about trying to copy this design exactly. I get to do just the transferring part, and it will make a perfect design every time. Okay? That's what I want you to do. I'm going to go through this and I will show you what it looks like to transfer all of it. Just one quick tip though, um, something that I know a lot of students have trouble with is they press all over the paper and they don't feel like nothing happens. Okay, One thing that you'll want to do is look and see where the pencil lines are before you start pressing your sharpie into the paper. Follow those lines and really press hard. Now on certain areas like the edge you want to be careful so that you don't rip the paper, but don't press really hard on blank areas. Press on the places that have all of your pencil lines on it. And if you do that, it'll work out for you. Now that I have that part done, I can go back with my pencil and add in any spaces that didn't get transferred very well. You can see in this area I missed that part and I can go back and transfer it but I'm just going to add in because I know where that is. That's a little easier to, to draw in myself. And once you do this you are free to transfer again. And like you're probably thinking well you just drew on this one sometimes you might need to add more pencil lead on this but you could essentially fold this in half and then transfer on both of these saving you the time to transfer one at a time you could do an entire side at a time if you wanted to okay. if you're missing something or you feel like you're not understanding it go back through the video watch how I did this again and that will hopefully answer your questions what's going what I want to do next is transfer all of this and then once I do that you're free to go back and then start adding your color and really that's all there is to this project I'll work through this project and I'll let you watch as I complete it but everything else is gonna be pretty straightforward all you're gonna need to add is color and if you want to do an outline with a marker or sharpie on these pencil lines after you're all done you can do that too anyway that's all I've got for you. I'll let you finish by watching me work on this and then I will let you get started.
right, some, some common questions that I have on this project usually are, one, can I change the color? Do I have to do the same pattern in every single triangle? And I would say you can change the color, but keep the pattern the same. So don't go changing the pattern because that's what we're trying to repeat. Okay. Um, the other question I usually get is, uh, do I have to use a Sharpie? What else can I use? Well, if you have a regular marker, you can use the regular marker. Um, the end of it is not quite as round as the Sharpie one. Um, remember, I used this soft side and the rounded side, not the end of it. Uh, but this one, you could probably use the end, and that would work. Um, I've also had students use glue sticks, or maybe the end or the corner of a glue bottle. Anything that is round enough and will be able to put pressure on the this paper when it's folded and transfer the ink will work just fine. That's all I have for you. Good luck.